smug illegal alien trashes Trump on live TV, not laughing moments later. After her father and brother were detained by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, an illegal alien decided to trash President Donald Trump on live television. Unfortunately for the smug punk, things would go horribly wrong, and she wasn't laughing after what happened just moments after the cameras shut off. Daniela Vargas, 22, was furious to learn that the criminal actions of her father had finally caught up with him as he was arrested by ICE. Of course, seeing how federal agents also took her brother into custody at the time only made things worse, prompting her to announce a televised conference that she would be holding. The path to citizenship is necessary for DACA recipients but also for the other 11 million undocumented people with dreams, she said. Today, my father and brother await deportation while I continue to fight this battle as a dreamer to help contribute to this country which I feel that is very much my country. However, the entitled punk quickly learned that you don't get everything that you want in this life, especially when you try to obtain it illegally. In fact, after trashing Trump and saying that those who broke the law should be rewarded, it wasn't long before officials heard what she had to say and decided to send a message of their own. The once smug illegal alien, who was boldly open publicly about her criminal immigration status, wasn't laughing just moments after her conference had ended. According to Downtrend, ICE swept her up and is set to deport her as well. ICE confirmed Vargas is in custody, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, took Daniela Vargas, 22, an unlawfully present Argentinian citizen, into custody March 1, during a targeted immigration enforcement action in Jackson, Mississippi. Source, CNN. As if that wasn't enough good news, it seems that Vargas's situation was entirely deserved. Come to find out, the entitled brat's DACA status had expired, and although she didn't bother to renew it, she thought that she would simply just stay in America for as long as she wanted anyway. In the end, she was just as guilty of breaking the law as her father and brother and got exactly what they all deserved. However, the best part comes from the fact that this punk was so entitled that she decided to go on national television and brag about her crimes. Sadly, that's exactly what this nation has come to after the reign of former President Barack Obama. For some reason, select laws were rendered useless, and those wishing to violate them simply because one man deemed it possible did so without even the fear of consequences, but that's not the case anymore. It's honestly funny to see these morons keep showing their faces in some ill-founded act of protest, only to get arrested. Even better yet, their so-called brave action only results in these punks getting shipped back to where they came from. There aren't too many people who are going to sit there and feel bad for you in a situation like this. At the end of the day, Vargas had broken the law, expressed her outrage after her father and brother were punished for violating the rules, and then went and publicized herself, making her case known to everyone, the authorities included. Actions have consequences, and everyone better get used to that idea. After all, we wouldn't argue that a murderer should go free, would we? Laws are there to tell us what is acceptable and what is not and those willing to break them better get comfortable with the idea of the punishment that comes afterward. At this point, it's as simple as this, if you don't want to get deported, then don't break the law. The fact that people find this reality shocking is a disturbing indication of how little regard the former president had for the American judicial system. Justice is back, and it's about dang time.